You can see me? It's weird. I'm in, cam I'm in camo. You shouldn't be able to see me right now. Don't even talk to me about <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Thank you for watching us on Patreon. Follow our official Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. Back. Ow. And following us on our personal YouTube channels. We each have one. You can follow us there as well for more juicy content. It drips. It flows. It tastes pretty nice. It moves me, Bob. And today, uh, we are doing a movie review. Rick, what movie did you watch? I watched The World According to Garp. Ah, well, I watched a different one. Let's see if we can match oh, the two reviews. I'm sure it'll be the same review. <laughs> uh, we reviewed... Uh, wait, no, we, we are reviewing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's all, the review's already done. Bye, everybody. Talvar. Right? I believe, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um... It's a 2015 film uh, starring Irfan Khan. Uh, it's more of a, honestly, it's more of a ensemble piece than just a, a strict star piece. Uh, Correct. Um, but he's, a, he's he's supporting, actually, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, so uh, there's really no clear cut star anyway. Uh, directed by, say your name. Directed by uh, Meghna Gulzar. We've seen her work multiple times. Yes. Uh, in uh, Razzie, uh, Drishyam, and what was what was the other one that was really, really good? Oh, yeah. Uh, the Chupac. most recent one is Chapak. Yeah. Chapak, that's right. Uh, we who we like her every single time we've seen a film of hers. She's a really, really She's talented director. Really good director. Uh, Very good director. But, yeah, and you want to read the synopsis for me real quick? Sure. Uh, I think that's the whole... Let me see. Is that the whole thing? Oh, my stars. No. Uh, you want me to just read the one-sentence synopsis? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to be. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I clicked on synopsis, and what it opened up was an entire novel. Yeah. An experienced investigator confronts several conflicting theories about the perpetrators of a violent double homicide. That is a good synopsis, don't you think? Yes, and it was, a, yeah. it was definitely a murder mystery, uh, and based off, obviously, a true story, that I'm sure all you know, and I'm sure it was like uh, in the news all the time. Something we're going into completely and utterly just not know. It, like, I didn't know anything, right? You didn't know anything? Didn't know a thing about this. Yeah, didn't know a thing about it. Uh, so we are coming in with that. So everything we're going to be saying is based off what the film showed us. Uh, right. Uh, and that's and, all I, we got. and I've, done, I've done some research since because... I was talking with Indrani about it, and you know she obviously is well aware and was paying attention to the news and what was going on at the time. So I, I wanted to find out as much as I could and see how much of what the movie depicted was actually what, you know, how well they did because it's a true story, and I always feel that way. We talk about that, yeah. the, the the accuracy of the true story, but even more important, I wanted to see, um, what really happened. Yeah, and yeah. this this was written. Produced and composed by the lovely and talented Vishal Bardwash. Uh, <laughs> yes, the lovely and talented, for sure. We, you know we love him. Uh, but I did read that he and the director wanted to keep this uh, as unbiased as possible. They just wanted to present the facts, uh, and that's what, we, that's what uh, they tried to put on screen. And so I'm sure you all know this story, but just in case you don't, Go watch the film, here come, come back. Yeah, here come the spoilers. Let's go see it and come back. I'm Otherwise, assuming you all know about this story. Yeah. So it's like, uh, it's one of those things. But uh, Rick, initial thoughts. Well, just as a whole, let's just talk about, because we're going to talk about two things, obviously. We're going to talk about the film itself and the artistry of the film. And then we're going to talk about the bigger, more important thing, this actual case. So as a film, I thought, I like this as much as I like some of the other films we've seen that are comparable to it, like Razi, like Pink, like Badla, that are the, the kind of crime dramas that are digestible for a Western audience that have a really nice clip that still have the generic Indian connection to it, but are one of those movies we would easily recommend to friends and family. And 
It's freaking Irfan Khan. What more can you say? He's always magnificent. Always magnificent. Irfan and uh, Nir, Nir, Niraj, Niraj Kabi. Who, everything we've seen him in has been super phenomenal. Uh, yeah, my, my respect for him just goes up, up, up with each new thing we see of him. Yeah, he's so, so talented. So, so uh, believable and everything. Irfan... I, you know, you know, we love him, but he has this way of he's not like he's not a character actor. I would not classify Irfan as a character no. actor, but every single one of his characters seems different. But he doesn't mm-hmm. play it that different. But they all it, seem different, which is which is quite impressive because normally, like I think, like actors normally like an Irfan who they don't normally change their voice, they don't normally go under a lot of uh, cosmetics. Uh, I, I'm like, they usually play the same characters, and I'm like, okay, they're good, but they're not my favorite. Irfan has a way of almost playing, like, he doesn't change his voice or anything like that, so that's what I'm saying. But all of his characters seem extremely different. <laughs> yeah, which is a testament to, because I know your preference, your yeah. personal preference for actors are shapeshifters. Yeah. That for you, that is the quintessential, the ones you respect the most, the ones you emulate the actor that you are, and you typically aren't as impressed with people so it is a testament and it's a worthy a worthy accolade that you respect and love the guy so much when he is so similar across the board but you're right he's similar but different yeah it's 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 that impressive because i I don't think i've seen that very often if if at all in terms of somebody who can do that um so it was really impressive i thought his character was really well done i thought a lot of the writing vishal and the other uh, writers gave him was very funny he had a lot of little funny quips like especially with him and his wife <laughs> like when they were trying to get a divorce uh <laughs> and then who, and, who we should mention those of you know it's of course it's taboo who's yeah. playing his wife yeah yeah and of course she was amazing uh they're that they're just they're they're the on-screen couple they have to be married and <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> they're incredible uh i yeah. love that but i did really enjoy this film because it was one like i said coming into it knowing nothing Obviously, I didn't see any news stories. It's not like, you know, a comparable thing would be like we watched, o- or not how we'd watch, but I know the story of O.J. Simpson, even though I didn't watch it. I know that story and what all happened. Everybody knows what happened in that story. What? You, you didn't see the O.J. Simpson trial series? I saw the series, yes. Oh, okay, okay. You mean the actual trial? Yes, I didn't see the actual okay. trial. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. And, and everything that went down, but the all of America saw that. Uh <laughs> And, and knew what went down and so they had all their their points so i'm just coming at this strictly from a movie basis uh, and we're just gonna i'm just jumping off the film they kept you enticed the entire time i loved how she directed it in terms of when they showed when they thought they had a lead and then they recreated what they thought in their mind was happening and what yes. happened in the murder uh, I thought that was really, really great in terms of like showing how each the dad killed her and how the dad killed him and how the how the uh, servants friends killed him and, and so all those different things. I, I like that uh, that they kind of almost framed it in that way and it kept it really interesting because every like 15 minutes it was another lead and another lead and another lead. So it, it's definitely a film that's once like you said very digestible for a western audience. You could just sit mm-hmm. down and be like this is entertaining. I want to know yeah. I want to know who did it and they didn't really give you that satisfaction in the end. Uh No. Uh they didn't they, they cuz obviously the case is not the same. I believe the parents are now released uh from jail um because this evidence was circumstantial, which in America, it's like it's such a foreign concept how you can send somebody to jail when the evidence is circumstantial, regardless of if you think they did it or not. An American under the law, you have to have hard evidence in order to <laughs> send somebody to jail and convict them. It's so it, it's, it was almost yeah. hard for me. I'm like, wait, hold on. You just said it's circumstantial, but now you're sending them to jail. How does that make any sense? But obviously, the larger picture was them trying to uh, paint a a view of a lot of the law enforcement, not all, I'm not saying obviously, we don't know all the law enforcement, but a a picture of the corrupt law enforcement in India uh, and how uh, oftentimes, sometimes they'll mess up something and then try to cover up their mess ups uh, to uh, fit the picture so they don't look bad as well. And so uh, that's obviously the story I felt like they were trying to portray. And I thought they did a good job at it. I thought it was a really, really entertaining film. Yeah, I thought it was a really entertaining film. I find it interesting that the circumstantial evidence was enough to put the mom and dad in jail, but the but, circumstantial evidence wasn't enough to put the other guy 
yeah. in jail. Yeah, it, and I've done. It's weird. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it's weird. <laughs> yeah, uh, as is, um, and yeah, we. This film could never make a, a blanket statement about law enforcement uh, anywhere. In the same way, the O.J. Simpson trial doesn't give you a blanket statement about all law enforcement in the United States. It was specific no. to the Los Angeles Police Department. Yeah. This is specific to this region. Yeah. I'll tell you this. Uh, if this had been scripted as a fiction for the screen, mm. I would have been angry at the writers for making the cops so inept that it was unbelievable. Yeah, right? That is how awful law enforcement was at the scene yeah to even even the i wrote down in my notes when it started to rain and wash the blood off the wall it's like you don't even think to check the weather when you have an external evidence area and make sure that the rain doesn't wash the blood off the wall are you freaking kidding me right now the other thing i found out that of the 28 i think it was fingerprint samples that they acquired only 20 uh only two of the 28 were actually usable like the actual they were actually good enough to see and that press family and friends were allowed to be all over the crime scene well before they started doing their investigations and i'm guessing all that is not common practice uh I would hope not, man. Because obviously, we uh, I don't know India's uh, law enforcement or their proceedings of what in terms of police, in terms of the, the law itself, in terms of uh, prosecution. I only know from an American's perspective. And a lot of this stuff was just hard to believe that you could get away with it uh, <laughs> from an American mindset. And I know, obviously, different law and different um, per, um, uh, law enforcement acts different ways around the world. Uh, right. But like... <laughs> One, the fact that they could put somebody under to get them to confess. Uh, right. I don't know what they were putting them under, but I was like, what? <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, sure, I actually. I'm pretty sure I, a I lawyer did. would step in and be like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, and in fact, forcibly as well. Right. Yeah. yeah no, that, 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 I looked that up because I was intrigued about this whole narco uh, questioning. Uh, and it's it is legitimately a thing of like truth serum, and it hasn't been done in the United States. It's just never been admissible in court. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, the whole prospect of that being something that's done and it not being admissible was very unusual to me. Yeah. And, uh, and, as and then when they said uh, he he asked for his lawyer, but they just kept like ignoring it, basically. <laughs> In, yeah. in, in and, America, and when then, you ask for a lawyer, they can't ask you anything else. <laughs> yeah, but and then on the other hand, since when have we seen in a in a film depicting the police? Since when has it not been okay for the questioning officer to slap somebody? Yeah, like they kick Irfan's character off of the case because the other guy taped him slapping the 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 guy who stutters. Yeah. As if that's like the unforgivable sin of in in of being a. I'm but, but how many how many films have we seen depicting law enforcement and they're and being told that this is the way it works in a lot of the places? I'm wondering if a lot of those films depict it, and it's like you're not supposed to do this, but none of these cops are going to tell on the other one. It's kind of like an maybe un, so. I yeah, don't know. But maybe I thought so. that was almost one of the genius parts of it because. It's one of those stories that's so intriguing because so many things went wrong and so many things were done improperly. It's like almost yes. you're watching a train wreck from the police side. So many things were done wrong. You're like, what? That's it's real? Ver <laughs> it's very much, it's, it's a totally different kind of thing. But the, that level of ineptness and evidence not being like the perfect storm on the law enforcement side screwing it up yeah. was very similar to me and reminiscent of what happened to poor Marsha Clark with her prosecution and the witnesses and the things that happened with her prosecution. Basically, anything that could possibly go wrong for her went wrong. And it's a shame because in, in court, United States court, Indian court, most courts, it's not about right and wrong. It's about who can prove the evidence. It's yeah. who can win the, the evidential case in yeah. the story. 
Yeah, and it was so weird when they were in court and they were like, you can't dismiss this case, uh, charge them. And the, the judge right. was like, I was like, what? <laughs> I know. Like, what? What? <laughs> what are you even talking about? You're a judge. <laughs> I know. Uh, so that was that was quite strange. Um, but the uh, yeah, I thought the film it, itself was really, really, really good and, and really entertaining. Um, yeah. And I, I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and I would definitely recommend this to people to watch, even if you're an American wanting to watch like a uh, and it would be an easy watch, I think, for most Americans. Uh-huh. Absolutely yeah, easy watch. Uh, and, and I think would be a great introduction. One of the first films that you could recommend to American audiences to see in terms of getting an understanding of how much we're similar and also how much we're different in terms of just law enforcement and investigative procedures. And, but, and then ultimately for me, I just, I couldn't escape. I'm sure you're the same. I couldn't escape the fact that throughout this story, we're dealing with a mom and a dad and a murdered 14 year old daughter. Yeah. And if they're innocent, yeah, they not only had to go through, Finding their murdered daughter, yep. being tried in the media in ways that were character destroying, going to jail and having to go through all of the investigative process as the accused, and then actually serving jail time and thinking you may be in prison for life if they're innocent. Can you imagine what that was like for them to have to go through? Yeah, because if this, if everything like this happened like it did in India, but it was in America. Everything would have been thrown out immediately when I went to court. Like, yeah, there wouldn't have been a trial. Yeah. We couldn't have done it because of what the police did. Like you, they they would have been off. Whoever the murderer was, unless they could come up with new evidence (laughs) would have gone off scot-free, which is obviously what happened because we don't, we still don't know who the murderer was. Uh, it could have been the parents, but obviously that evidence uh, wasn't there. Uh, but they served time regardless of it. Um, it. You don't know if it was the servants. You don't know who it was because the, they dumped the, uh, the, I think Irfan said it was like, they, you would have solved this in 15 minutes if you would have done things correctly. Correct. And it would have been here if it had been gone to trial, which I agree with you. It would have never gone to trial. Yeah. If it had gone to trial, you would never get a verdict. You'd have a hung jury because there would be so much that they would say, we cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this took place with anybody being convicted. Now, when you look at everything, as far as the evidences that were there and botched and inadmissible and the narco testing, do you have a feeling or a sense or an opinion as to what actually did happen? Or do you feel you, Corbin, aren't in a position to make a decision as to who you think did it? I don't think I am because one also, even though I think they tried to be unbiased, it was definitely in the f- the favor of the parents. This was told in the favor of the parents, uh, which yes. makes it cinematic, of course, obviously, um, because you know you're rooting for like oh, how these they just lost if they're innocent, you know they just lost right. like you said they just lost their kid, uh, and so obviously I know why they did that, um, but it right. was told from. Even though they tried to say unbiased, it was told from a bias, I feel like, uh, in terms of the parents. And so I, don't, I agree. I don't know. A slight, I mean, a yeah, slight a bias. Slight. I'm not saying it was like totally like they're, they're all scot free, but they, uh, it could have very well been them. I was just presented with the evidence that almost says it obviously wasn't them. Um, and so I don't know. I, the, this one, the servant's friends seem pretty likely, but I, like I said, I can't really say why. Do you have a, do you have a, a theory? I had an opinion when it was done mm-hmm. that is clearly based on my own bias and I'm certain is based on the slant of the film, which was when I, the minute the movie was over, my feeling was the parents were innocent and the servants, uh, the young man who they depicted as the potential murderer well, was the actual one. Then when I did research and spent some time and looked at what some of the facts are about everything, which by the way, they did a pretty freaking good job Vishal Bardwaj did a really good job of presenting to us what we know based on the research that I did. Granted, I just took a day, big deal. But based on what I saw, he did a, a exceptionally, because too often films depicting true stories give you stuff that didn't happen because yeah. they're going to they're gonna dramatize it for you and, and Hollywoodize it. You know what I mean? And he yeah. didn't do that. 
Mm. He didn't do that based on what I read. And based on what I read and based on the, the way the film depicted it, I have a very strong feeling, a strong opinion. I don't say there's enough evidence to prove it, but my strong feeling is that it was that young man who was a friend of the servant, uh, th that it wasn't the mom and dad, it was that guy. Yeah. And there's, there's, stuff, there's stuff they didn't put in the film. Oh, okay. That's part of that's part of the evidence that was not submitted, but was done by some of the forensics experts. That if you look it up, and I think one of the reasons they didn't put it in was because of the the um, censorship board. Oh, uh, stupid censorship board. Yeah, and based on what I read, I'm confident. But again, it's just like I'm confident OJ Simpson went a hundred percent killed Nicole Brown Simpson. No, and, love uh, didn't fit, Rick. You got to quit. The glove didn't fit. <laughs> it was clearly too small, Rick. You can't wear gloves and, that are too small. <laughs> and, and Ron Goldman. And Ron Goldman. Yeah. And that was another thing. If you guys haven't watched that, it's on Netflix. It's a great series. Watch the O.J. Simpson trial. They did a fan. And I was there. I lived, the, oh, I lived in Los Angeles. And I was on the phone with my dad multiple times during the case. When they read the verdict, I followed it like everybody else did. Netflix did a spectacular job. It's a great doing series. that series. Great, great yeah. series. Great, great. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed watching that series. Just like I thoroughly enjoyed watching this. This was a great film. Yep, uh, great so movie. Hats off to the director. Me, uh, say your name. I don't yeah. want to mispronounce it. Yes, uh, I'm looking at it to make sure I don't do it just for memory and butcher it. Uh, Migna Gulzar. Yeah, phenomenal job, uh, as Migna always. Gulzar. I mean, everything we've seen her do has been really good work. Uh, and so yep. she's, a, she's a supremely talented uh, director, not that she needs me to say that for her. And obviously the entire cast, yeah, like, I, I don't think we talked about something yeah. I didn't like. The, there were some supporting actors that I, I wasn't fans of, but they were on screen for like a couple seconds. So I was like, eh, whatever, yep. throw them away. Uh, other than that, yep. it, was, it was like... For the type of film it was trying to be, which was like a, almost a murder mystery, I did a phenomenal job, and I, I, I would recommend this film to... Uh... And Vishal Bardwaj's um, um, score was perfect because this is the kind of film where you don't want the score to become part of the storytelling. You want it to be part of just the background and give you a feeling, and I felt like his score was... You know, like everything the guy does, he just knows how to make movies. He knows how to make movies. Yeah, to be fair to say, we love Michelle Bardosh. Uh, yep. <laughs> anyways, uh, let us know which film we should watch next down below from Hindi, uh, Tollywood, Hollywood, Malalium, Marathi, uh, Assam. Uh, <laughs> uh, let Canada. us know. Yeah, Canada, whatever industry, we want to watch good films. So recommend them to us down below. Da din din 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 da din din